guys now that we know how to be safe on a boat and we're playing on the beach let's talk about something very very important being safe when you're swimming well, what else is there to know I've gone swimming before well Glenn there's some important things that maybe you haven't thought about before like you should never go swimming by yourself always have a swimming buddy when your class goes on field trips does your teacher assign you a buddy yeah well, it's just like that. You also want to make sure you're swimming in a safe area. Sometimes they are marked by little buoys floating in the water or by signs on the beach. And if the water is deeper than your chest, you want to make sure you wear a life jacket. Sometimes a lifeguard will test you to make sure you can swim really good before they let you go out. And if there's not a lifeguard, test yourself. See how long you can tread water without touching the ground. Maybe ask your parents to sign you up for uh, swimming classes. My mom and dad signed me up for swim class last year. It was really fun, and now I'm a good swimmer. Well, that's awesome. But be careful. Just because you're a good swimmer doesn't mean you can't get into trouble in the water. There are other things besides how well you can swim that can make it dangerous. Like what? Do you kids know what a rip current is? No. no. Chief? A rip current or rip tide is when the water pulls you away from the beach. They are very dangerous. A rip current can happen in the ocean and in large lakes. It feels like no matter how fast you swim, the beach keeps moving farther away. So be careful. Does it pull you underwater? No, Nikki. It only pulls you away from the beach. If you think you're in a rip current, stay calm and don't try to swim straight back to shore. Instead, Swim along the beach until you don't feel the water pulling you. Then it's safe to swim to the beach. Rip currents usually aren't very big, but they can be strong. And if you start getting tired, then it's time to call for help. Don't worry. If I get caught in a rip current, I'll call for help. But rip currents aren't the only thing the kids need to know, sir. That's right, Chief. You should also never dive headfirst in water if you don't know how deep it is. You don't want to bonk your head. Yep. And you don't want to swim near floating trees and sticks. And you especially don't want to swim near plants called lily pads or tall seaweed because it can accidentally get wrapped around your legs and make it hard to swim. And remember, no pretending you're in trouble, right? Right. Because right. when you come to help us, you won't be able to help people in real trouble. That's right. And if you ever see somebody in trouble, Tell a lifeguard so right dude. away or help an adult call 911. I could help save people like you guys. <laughs> oh, you sure could. Well, kids, you got to take a boat ride, learn to be safer in the water, and go swimming today. Have fun? Yeah! yeah! Hey, we had a lot of fun today showing you around too. And next time we're going... <laughs> About a sinking, about a sinking, about a sinking, about a sinking. Sounds like someone needs our help, Chief. Petty Officer Haley, ready the boat crew. Aye, aye, Chief. <laughs> 